Squiz Kids acknowledges the traditional owners of the lands on which we podcast, the Turrible and Combermary people. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Hello, fabulous Squiz Kids listeners, and welcome to the Kids vs. Adults Bumper Holiday Squiz on the World's Weirdest Animals. I'm Christy Kijarina. Right through the year in the Squiz Kids Daily Podcast, we've been bringing you the big news stories of the day, run through our kid-friendly filter to make sure you know all you need to know about the world around you. And at the end of every week, we've tested how much you've retained in the Kids vs. Adults Weekly News Squiz. But now, because it's the holidays, we're presenting a series of Bumper Kids vs. Adults quizzes on a bunch of fun topics to see who's smarter, kids or adults. Plus, of course, because it's a Friday, we've got all today's birthday shout-outs and the shout-outs for the week ahead, including the birthday reggae tune, because it wouldn't be Friday without it. Here's how the quiz works. 10 questions for kids about the world's weirdest animals, and then 10 questions for adults. Whoever answers the most correct questions wins. Easy peasy. You ready? Let's do this. All right, kids, here are your 10 questions. Question number one. One of these animals sleeps while standing up. They do this by locking their leg joints so that they don't fall over. Which of these animals sleeps while standing up? Is it A, wombats, B, horses, or C, polar bears? Well done, kids, if you said B, horses. Question number two. Here's another sleep-related question. Some types of sharks keep moving through the water even while they're asleep. They do this because... A, it's just the water currents moving them around, B, they've got lots of energy to burn off, or C, they breathe through their gills and they need to keep the water flowing over those gills to keep breathing. You're a big smarty pants if you said C, they need to keep water moving over their gills in order to breathe. Question number three, this one's a true or false question. Ant eaters have extremely long snouts and very long tongues in order to scoop up insects, but they do not have any teeth. Is this true or false? Yeah, it's true. Ant eaters do not have any teeth. Question number four. Collective nouns describe groups of things. A group of cows is called a herd and a group of dogs is a pack. What is a group of lions called? I'll give you a hint. They must be feeling pretty good about themselves. Nice work, kids, if you said a pride. Question number five. Another sleep question. I'm feeling a bit tired here. Koalas are notoriously lazy animals. How many hours a day do koalas generally sleep for? Is it A, about 12 hours, B, about 16 hours, or C, more than 20 hours? Nice work. If you said C, koalas sleep for more than 20 hours a day. Question number six. From one lazy animal to another, sloths live most of their lives up in the trees, but about once a week they come down to the ground and do a little dance. This dance is known as the A, poop dance, B, happy dance, or C, thirsty dance. Yeah, it's A. They do a little poop dance before they do a poop. And of course, I've stuck a video in the episode notes for you. Question number seven. Which continent is home to some of the deadliest animals on earth, including the blue ringed octopus, the red backed spider, and the inland taipan? And most of you won't have to go very far to get there. Yeah, that's right. It's Australia. Question number eight. This one needs a yes or no answer. Can flying squirrels actually fly? 
The answer is no. However, they can glide. I've stuck a link in the episode notes to a video so you can see how. Question number nine. Recently in our daily news podcast, we told you about the chin strap penguins. They nap a lot while looking after their babies. How many naps does a chin strap penguin have each day? Is it A, 1,000, B, 10,000, or C, 100,000? The answer is B, they have 10,000 naps a day. Question number 10, and speaking of babies, we know that cats have baby kittens and dogs have puppies. What is the name given to baby kangaroos? Nice work if you said joeys. How did you go, kids? How many did you get right out of 10? Reckon you're going to beat the adults? Yep, I reckon so too. All right, adults, now it's your turn. Fire up the old grey matter. Here we go. Question number one. The roar of a big cat is enough to strike fear into the heart of any human or hyena, but which of these big cats cannot roar? Is it A, leopards, B, cheetahs, or C, panthers? Great work, adults, if you said B, cheetahs. I've stuck a link to video of cheetahs meowing and purring in your episode notes. Question number two. The world's oldest known living land animal celebrated his birthday last month. How old is Jonathan, the Seychelles giant tortoise? I'll give you a hint. He was born before the invention of the telephone and even the postage stamp. Is Jonathan A, 96 years old, B, 153 years old, or C, 191 years old. Well done if you said C. Jonathan is 191 years old. Question number three. This one's a true or false question. True or false. Pigeons can produce milk to feed their babies. It's actually true. They produce it in an organ called a crop, which is part of their gut, and they regurgitate it into their baby's mouths. Mmm, yum. Question number four. Butterflies need to find leaves that are able to be eaten by their baby caterpillars. They do this by tasting them. Where are a butterfly's taste receptors located? Is it A, on their feet, B, on their antennae, C on their wings. Nice one, adults. If you said A, a butterfly's taste receptors are on their feet. Lucky ours aren't. Question number five. Adults, the kids told you that a baby kangaroo is called a joey. What is the name given to baby echidnas and platypuses? And I'll give you a hint. They both have the same name and it rhymes with the name for non-magical folk in the Harry Potter stories. Yes, they're adorably known as puggles. Question number six. Imagine you're out walking in the Aussie bush. You see a collection of poop, but this poop is cubed. They're small, two-centimetre cubes, and they're piled up near the entry of what appears to be an underground burrow. Which animal do you suspect lives in that burrow? Is it A, a Tassie devil, B, a quokka, or C, a wombat? Great work, adults. If you said C, wombats have cubed poop. Question number seven. I'm not quite sure if this one falls into the category of weird animals or weird humans, but here we go. Which of these animals was the mayor of an Alaskan town for 20 years? Was it A, a cat, B, a donkey, or C, a chimpanzee? The answer is A. It was a cat named Stubbs who was the honorary mayor of an Alaskan town right up to 2017. Question number eight. Everybody loves a flamingo, especially that gorgeous pink colour. But when they're born, flamingos are grey and white. 
What is it that turns a flamingo pink? Well done to those clever adults that said their diet. They eat a diet of algae and shrimp that contains pigments that turns the flamingos pink. Question number nine. Adults, the kids told us that a group of lions is called a pride. What is a group of owls known as? That's right. Most commonly, they're known as a parliament, but they can also be called a hoot. That's for those really fun owls. Question number 10, final question for this quiz. What am I? I'm found on mountaintops, in tropical rainforests, and deep in the ocean. I can survive extreme pressure and temperature, dehydration and starvation. I'm only half a millimetre long, and when full grown, I'm quite plump and have claws or suction cups at the end of my four pairs of legs. I'm also known as a moss pig. Do you know what I am? Yeah, great work, adults. If you said I'm a tardigrade, now that's one weird animal. How did you go, adults? How many did you get right? Did you beat the kids? Who won bragging rights this week? That's the end of the quiz, which means that now it's time for... Shout outs. It's Friday, January 19. Brew a potion day. Whether you grab a cauldron and some Eye of Newt or just pop onto Minecraft, today's the day to make some magic. It's also a special day for these Squiz Kids celebrating a birthday today and over the next week. So let's crack out that old birthday reggae tune. Hit it! It's a very happy birthday today to Jaden from Blue Haven and Abby from Mount Isa. And celebrating a birthday over the coming week are Nella from Forster. Jeremy from North Ainsley, Adair from Roseville, Anna from Mandura, Isabel from Haberfield, Layla Jade and Avier from Point Cook, Sophia from Jerobombera, Sophie from Point Sorrel, and Grace listening all the way over there in Singapore, and Timofey listening all the way over there in Dubai. Well, that's all we have time for. I hope you're enjoying these quizzes. Don't forget, there'll be a new one dropping first thing every Friday morning of the summer holidays. And the best bit? They're absolutely free, as is all our other summer holiday content. We're talking a Squiz Kids Shortcut episode on Monday, a Squiz Kids Book Club every Wednesday. And if you haven't listened yet, take a scroll back through your Squiz Kids podcast feed to find our super excellent Squiz Kids Jokeathon. All of it perfect for those long family road trips or lazy summer days at home. Check it all out at squizkids.com.au or in the Squiz Kids feed of your favourite podcasting app. And remember, if you subscribe, all this excellent content will magically appear. For now, this is Christy Kidgerina signing off and reminding you to get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out. Listener.